What up, my devil? Since I tuned in here with another video for you. So today I was gonna record a video on the abuse of log scale in uh, the analysis, uh, let's say the Elliott Wave analyst community. But I figure I tried to do that and I need to think about it more to articulate myself better because I hate to sit there and stammer. Um, so why don't we just talk about my thoughts on the crypto market real quick. I'm going to try to keep this video pretty damn short. Um, I always go long and I want to see what a five to 10 minute video does, uh, as far as the engagement numbers and things like that, um, right here. So obviously I'm going to have to post this for public YouTube tomorrow or something. Cause I'm going to talk about this trade that's setting up right here. Why I think this is a nice trade for Elliott wave and then just briefly discuss my thoughts on the market um so yeah um this is tezos and i posted this for members when this price was you know a little while ago when price is back around here um and i think this is a nice trade uh i show the most bearish potential just basing this on swings that this is a five swing move from the high meaning um that this would be a corrective wave that this you know and assuming considering where it is in context that would mean that it's the start of a pattern a one or a a right um and i don't i don't feel i should have to explain that uh more in depth um and even though that that is uh sorry my wife's trying to distract me even though this should be potentially the start of something terrible or you know going against the direction of the trade that I'm showing here. Um, it's still setting us up because we have going out of the five minute, three minute. I should rather be here. Um, we have the case for this is likely an impulse wave, right? Um, now you can get down in here and say, well, dude, I see three swings. Okay. You call it a three swing. That's fine. But what do we see off the high? And this is, you know, at that point I can say, okay, Maybe I do have a second of doubt in my mind, even though it's quite impulsive. Uh, but what do we have off the high? We have three swings into the base trend channel low, uh, which is kind of like a perfect corrective move finishing up here, right? So really, I can really take a long at this point, this point of confluence here and play it tight if I want. Really get this risk reward high, or I can be safe and come down here below this pivot. Either way, or I could just do a standard algo, which would get you like a, you know, seven to one ish, um, risk to reward. But I know that if I put this in as an A, if this is an A or a one, then I should be putting in a three wave move off of it. That should be adequate to correct all of this, which this really isn't yet, right? It's not adequate. Even if you think that might be three, which I don't think that it is, even though I see that, I see what you see, right? Um, I don't find it adequate. So if I put in then off the high of that, what looks to be a nice, very nice corrective and it's going for the dildo right now, uh, that sets up as a high quality fucking trade. It's not the best trade in the world. I wouldn't call it top quality, but it's that is a very, very tradable event. If you're an LA Wave trader, these are the type of trades you should look for. Um, if it was in the direction of the trim, that would be even better. Um, much better and really that's the only thing you know and then of course if this, there was a perfect five swings in here that i could easily make out and perfect three swings here which to me this is um yeah it could get better but this is sort of you know this is the real world like there's elliott wave in a vacuum and there's elliott wave in the real world and if you're gonna try to use elliott wave to trade charts this is the kind of fucking setup you want and i don't care if i get stopped out i will trade this setup every single time um now, that being said, it has no hope of making this if Bitcoin's going to die. So let's go ahead and look at Bitcoin. Oh. It's going for it. So I'm actually, I actually longed both these things. I longed Bitcoin like here, and I longed that back on the 50. Um, could this be a way forward to here? It kind of looks four ish. And this is one, two. Even though that kind of looks impulsious, that looks sort of like an impulse, but could be a three. See, th this the, the way that you practice Elliott Wave 
And this is why I often don't even put counts on the chart because I want you guys to think of it like I do is there are patterns that stand out and slap you in the face and you can anchor your count on them. And then there's uncertainty. And then there's a, a sliding scale all the way from zero to 100% of how certain you are at each pattern within this chart. And when you can learn how to put the puzzle together, if I have the certain, you know, if I have two pieces together, you know, this and this, then I can easily find this piece, right? It's going for it. So get out of here. Get the fuck out of this channel. Okay. Hold on. I gotta check. Sorry. Sorry to stop this dead in its tracks, but I didn't expect it to straight dilly while I was recording. That's the Bitcoin trade. Anyway. We're happy about that. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go. Um, now. Not only do I see these components that give me the idea for this long, but I zoom back and I see, you know, what to me is motive, corrective, motive, corrective, motive that, that, that are ending in a one, two, three, four. Like, look how many bottoms we put in here. And look at the divergence on that. Look at the divergence of that. So when I saw this the other day, I posted for the Discord members to let you guys know that, you know, it's not exactly like a super clean Elliot count that I could post for you, but I see this coming. And I said, I see this for the whole crypto market. Buy some of your favorite shit. So that's what I've been doing. Now, I will say that this put an impulse off the low and then I bought... Uh, so I bought here in spot. I bought leverage in here, and I took a I took a full stop here, took a full stop on this. But guess what? When it went back to here, I saw this crazy divergence again on a bottom that looked and again pa bigger pattern that's finishing, smaller pattern that's finishing. This is the way that I use Elliott Wave in the markets. I don't have to put ABCs and Zs and XYs and fucking channels on here all the time to show you. I want to explain it to you because this is the way I use it. And I think it's the correct way. Um, but I see all of these things coming to resolution. So I see as a potential. So took a leverage trade here. So it last night, which happened to be about here and then add it back again here on the leverage. And I've been in spot trade, which is actually way bigger than the leverage positions, but whatever, uh, since down here. Um, so that's where I see on the Bitcoin market. I showed that it was going here. Now, what I didn't tell everybody is that to be honest, you know, this is definitely a point of interest but if it got there i kind of think I, you know i've been saying the lows in here but the very least we're gonna put in an x here right and because i know this fucking theory like the back of my hand let's just say it's this um if we're gonna put in an x we need to form an adequate x we need to get up out of this channel in order for it to be adequate you know if we touch it maybe that's it so this is why I'm taking these trades to the bull side. Now we break up out of here, get to the one to one of this, then I have to start thinking because there is a potential this could be an X. I don't necessarily think that it is. But it could be. I don't, you know, I don't like this as a triangle. A lot of people have been saying this is a triangle. Um, it's not to me. I mean, we could be putting a D in here and then E down here and then break up for the C. Yeah, so there is a chance it's triangle. I just didn't think it was a triangle the way everyone was asking me if it was a triangle. Um, could still be. I'm bad at triangles, but typically... 
see the E would finish here, go up for there, and you see a triangle like this where it's like top top or bottom it's gonna break that direction it's not breaking it hasn't broken that way yet so if it does come back down here to be honest if it doesn't reverse you know this makes creates a binary event for me but another test of this would be would be something for me as far as I would think we'd break to the downside but uh, again in order to put this X adequate X I would want to break to the ups outside of this why because I know this theory I know that I know that you think you know it better than me, but take my word for it or don't. If you want to learn it from me, you got to come to the Discord. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been seeing on the market that we were going to bounce. We're getting toward, we're getting long in the tooth on that, but I'm long and strong at the moment. Uh, that remains tenuous, as you saw. I'm already up plenty. I could close that position and be quite happy with myself. Uh, I could close this position that I'd open down here and be quite happy with myself, and I could close that Tezos trade. But I'm thinking I want more, man. I want more. So that's where I'm at. Is that too? Sh oh yeah, ten minutes, eleven minutes, sweet. All right, uh, let me guys, let me know how you guys feel about this video. You like the short, quick hitter? I'm probably gonna like it because I talk about trading. At least the public guys will. Usually, I keep that, keep that in the Discord. But um, you probably, obviously, now we're hitting the dailies. You won't be able to take advantage of it. Um, and I had posted these charts for the members prior, so they knew. Um, although I don't think I posted this one because. It wasn't exactly super high quality. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty, of course. But uh, and I just took—I mean, I just took it before I started recording, so didn't have time to consider if it was worth sharing. Anyway, that's it for the day, boys. Toot out.